This engine's got issues. I am just as curious as you guys are to figure this out. However, just to keep the suspense rolling, I've got some parts to clean up. Sorry, I had to. I'm gonna load up some of these parts into this bin, drop them in the cleaning tank, and get scrubbing. Since most of these parts are aluminum, I'm gonna touch them up with the Magwell cleaner over here by the sink. So I'm just gonna drop a few of them into the bucket, let them soak, and then start scrubbing. Just pulled the brake pedal out of the bucket of Magwell cleaner. Let's see how this thing cleans up. Absolutely mint. As I was cleaning these parts, I noticed the tip on the shifter is a little bit loose. And what you can do to fix that is pinch the sides with a set of vice grips and it'll tighten it back up. Kind of a temporary fix though. So you can tell the tip's pretty floppy right now. Let's go ahead and pinch this down, see if I can fix it. So the tip is pretty tight now. Let's see if it pivots. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. I'm gonna work that in a little bit. And I think adding some oil in there will uh, help it out. Dang, this shifter is like new again. It's amazing what a little redneck fix will do. All right, enough dicking around. Let's go check out this engine. So as you can tell, there's nothing holding the cylinder head on. Looks like it was just set on here. So this is gonna be an easy disassembly. Oops, no piston. That would make sense though, with everything just set on here. Got a little rust on this crankshaft here. But the rod bearing seems like it's in pretty good shape. No up and down movement. So that's good. I don't see any detonation on this dome. 
That's a great sign. Let's see how the cylinder is. The bore seems to be in decent shape. There is some wear here near the exhaust port. And it looks like there's a little step in it. I'm gonna have to check into that. There's a little bit of a ledge right here. This is definitely gonna need some work. The exhaust bridge doesn't look like it's cracked at all. And the rest of the bore appears to be in pretty good shape. So we'll have to get the cylinder replated or resleeved, or I might just sell it as a core and go buy a new one. I'll have to weigh out the cost on it. With that taken care of, it is back to cleaning. So these nastier parts such as the triple clamp and brake calipers are getting pressure washed first and then everything is getting dunked into the soak tank. These parts are definitely gonna need some soak time and another pressure washing. While those parts are soaking, I've got some more scrubbing to do. Just a little more pressure washing and I'll have these parts looking brand new again. In case you guys are wondering how I'm getting these higher up shots, I'm actually putting the camera on the tripod up on these tubs. Really sketchy, but gotta work with what I got. So I set it up just like this. So the parts came out pretty clean, but there's still some corrosion left over, particularly on this linkage and the rear caliper mount. So we're gonna see if this Magwell cleaner can strip that off or not. And actually what I have in this bucket is I bought like 30 bottles of the Magwell cleaner, dumped it all in. That way I can soak parts in it and reuse it.
Wow, just wow. Even I'm surprised. I honestly did not think that corrosion was gonna come off the linkage or the caliper mount. But I'm gonna take this stuff a step farther. I'll show you in another video. During the cleaning process, I happen to notice that the reeds are chipped right here on the corner. So I'll be adding that to the growing list of parts that I need for this bike. Oh, it's getting kind of long. Let's hope I don't have to add linkage bearings to that list. So I'm gonna pull these things apart along with the Kickstarter and grease everything up at the same time. Well, this is pretty surprising. I did not think there was gonna be grease inside this linkage. It's actually in fairly good shape. So what I'm doing here is I'm wrapping a screwdriver with a rag and then just running it in and out of the bearing. Try not to spin the bearings at all. And this cleans them up pretty well. You know what? Since I'm building this bike for myself, I'm gonna pop these seals out and just do a little more thorough cleaning. All right, time to grease this thing up and put it back together. Lately, I've been using this mini grease gun a lot. Works awesome for smaller projects like this. Once I have a good amount of grease into the bearing, I'll use this little acid brush to spread it around. Now it's on to grease up the pin. Just gonna pop this thing back in there. Hopefully all the bearings stay in place. Should be buttery smooth now. Oh yeah, that feels good. Now let's hope these other two bearings are in good shape as well. Oh boy, this one's a little rusted. Ugh, not a good sign. Yeah, this one's pretty rusted. I'm gonna have to pull it apart and hopefully it cleans up. You know, I could just replace this bearing and be done with it, but I'm always trying to find ways to be a cheap bastard. So I'm gonna pull this apart, see if I can clean it up. Before I attempt to fix the other bearing, I'm gonna pull apart this lower shock bearing and see what kind of shape this is in. Definitely a bit dry, and it's just falling apart. With two junk bearings and a pile of rust, I'm just gonna replace all these bearings, along with the bearings in this piece as well. So much for greasing up this bearing. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna pull apart this bearing and see what kind of condition it's in. That one actually looks like it was just re-greased. It's in really good shape. I'm guessing this Kickstarter pivot's gonna be in a little better shape. I'm gonna pull it apart and re-grease it. And these screws are usually Loctited, so I'm gonna use an impact screwdriver to loosen it up. Ah, oh, this thing is looking pretty grungy as well. Should clean up fine though.
Man, this pivot is incredibly smooth now. As you saw, I packed it plumb full of grease. If there's one thing I'm picky about on a bike, it's the Kickstarter. I've got to have a smooth kicker. Well guys, that is all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. I really want to tear into this motor and figure out what the issue is with the shifting. If you remember right, I was trying to get it into gear and it just wouldn't shift. I'll show you what's up with it. So going up is completely solid and pushing down just got a few inches of slop. It's not really doing much either. So in the next video, I'm going to be tearing this motor completely apart. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching guys. Happy holidays and I'll see you in the next video.